O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Spirit, blessed with God the Son, and God the Father ever one, shed forth your grace within our breast, and live in us a ready guest. By every power, by heart and tongue, by act and deed your praise be sung in flame with perfect love sense that other souls may kindle thence. Hear me, Lord, and come to rescue me. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me. A mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the stairs they have hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. O God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You who have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress, have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Hear me, Lord and come to rescue me. Lord, let your face shine on your servant. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighs. Affliction has broken down my strength, and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbours and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like a dead man forgotten, like a thing thrown away. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me. As they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. 
I say you are my God. My life is in your hands, deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Lord, let your face shine on your servant. Blessed be the Lord, who has shown me the wonders of his love. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm. Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you saints, he guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Blessed be the Lord, who has shown me the wonders of his love. Lead me in the way of your truth, and teach me, O Lord. You are the God who saves me. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said to Jeremiah, Go and buy a northernware jug. Take some of the elders of the people and some priests with you. Go out towards the valley of Ben-Hinnom, as far as the entry of the gate of the pots herds. There proclaim the words I shall speak to you. You are to say, Kings of Judah, citizens of Jerusalem, listen to the word of the Lord. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel says this, I am bringing down such a disaster on this place that the ears of everyone who hears it, hears of it, will ring. This is because they have abandoned me, have profaned this place, have offered incense here to alien gods, which neither they nor their ancestors nor the kings of Judah ever knew before. They have filled this place with the blood of the innocent. They have built high places for Baal to burn their sons there, which I had never ordered or decreed, which had never entered my thoughts. You are to break this jug in front of the men who are with you and say to them, the Lord of hosts says this, I'm going to break this people and this city just as one breaks a potter's pot irreparably. Topeth will become a burial ground for lack of other space. That is how I will treat this place. It is the Lord who speaks. And I mean to make this city like Topeth. The houses of Jerusalem and those of the kings of Judah will be unclean, like this place, Topeth. All these houses on the roofs, of which they offered incense to the whole array of heaven and poured their libations to alien gods. When Jeremiah came back from Topeth, where the Lord had sent him to prophesy, he went and stood in the court of the temple of the Lord and addressed all the people. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, says this, 
Yes, I am going to bring down every disaster. I have threatened on this city and on all its outlying towns, since they have grown so stubborn and refused to listen to my words. Now the priest Pashur, son of Immer, who was in charge of the police in the temple of the Lord, heard Jeremiah making this prophecy. Pashur had Jeremiah the prophet beaten and then put in the stocks at the gate of Benjamin, the upper gate leading into the temple of the Lord. Next day, Pashur had Jeremiah taken out of the stocks. Jeremiah said to him, Not Pashur, but Terah is the Lord's name for you. For the Lord says this, I'm going to hand you over to Terah, you and all your friends. They shall fall by the sword of their enemies. Your own eyes shall see it. The whole of Judah too, I will hand over to the king of Babylon. He will carry them off captives to Babylon and put them to the sword. And all the wealth of this city, all its stores, all its valuables, all the treasures of the kings of Judah, I will hand over to their enemies who will plunder them, round them up and carry them off to Babylon. As for you, Pashur, and your whole household, you shall go into captivity, you shall go to Babylon, there you will die, and there be buried, you and all your friends, to whom you have prophesied lies. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you that killed the prophets, and some those and stone those who are, who are sent to you. How often have I longed to gather you as your children, as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you refused. You have grown stubborn and refused to listen to my words. How often have I longed to gather your children, as a hen gathers her chicks, under her wings, and you refused. A reading from the homilies of Saint Bede the Venerable. This blessed harbinger of the Lord's birth, teaching and death displayed against his foes a valour worthy of heaven's regard as the scripture tells us, although he suffered torments in men's eyes, he has a sure hope of immortality. Accordingly, we celebrate the day of his birth with festive joy, for he made it sacred to us by his own suffering, made it resplendent with the brightness of his blood. Justly do we honour with spiritual joy the memory of the man who stamped with the seal of martyrdom the witness he gave on the Lord's behalf. Without doubt, blessed John the Baptist endured the chains of his prison and laid down his life in witness to our Redeemer, of whom he was the forerunner. His persecutor did not order him to deny Christ, but to be silent about the truth. Nevertheless, he died for Christ. For as Christ himself said, I am the truth. In shedding his blood for the truth, he therefore certainly did so for Christ. By his birth before Christ, by his preaching and baptizing, he bore witness to him who was to be born to preach and to baptize. So too, he prefigured by his suffering the passion of Christ. This great man then, after the long agony of captivity, ended his life on earth with the shedding of his blood. He who preached the freedom of, of heavenly peace was thrown into chains by wicked men. You came to bear witness to the light who was deservedly called a burning and shining light by Christ. The light itself was imprisoned in darkness. 
He was granted the privilege of baptizing the Redeemer of the world, of hearing the Father's voice above him, of seeing the grace of the Holy Spirit coming down upon him, was given baptism in his own blood. But to such men, the endurance of temporal torments for the truth was easy and desirable. They knew they would be rewarded with everlasting joys. Death being near and inevitable in the course of nature, the martyrs deemed it desirable to accept it for the profession of Christ's name and to gain the prize of everlasting life. And so the Apostle well says, to you it has been granted by Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. It is a gift of Christ, he says, for the elect to suffer for him, because the sufferings of this life are not worthy to be compared with the glory to come that will be revealed in us. King Herod ordered John's arrest and had him chained and put in prison. Herod did this because of Herodias, whom he had married, even though he was the wife of his brother Philip. The king sent off a guard and had John's head cut off. In prison, Herod did this because of Herodias, whom he had married, even though she was the wife of his brother Philip. Let us pray. God our Father, you appointed Saint John the Baptist to be the herald of the birth and death of Christ your Son. Grant that as he died a martyr for justice and truth, so we also may, be, may courageously bear witness to your word. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.